I recently did a video about the application called Enki and somebody asked me how I go about making my own custom decks. So what I'll do is I'll show how I do that and then I'll, once, once I'm done making the deck, I'll add it as a shared deck for other people to use. The deck that I'm making is specific to the 300815 implementing Cisco Advanced Call Control and Mobility Services. To get started with creating a deck, you'll want to click on this button here, Create Deck. I'm going to copy out this name and put it onto that deck. Then you just hit OK and you go into the deck by clicking on it and then you can click Add. So up here is going to be the front and then this will be the back. In order to make this card, I first need to look at what I want to put into it. So I go to the exam topics, as you can see here, and then I just expand these different sections so I can see what is going to be in them. We can see almost everything is either troubleshoot or configure. We have one implement. There aren't any that I see that say define. Define are the easier ones, but troubleshoot, configure, and implement are a little bit more complex. The next thing I do is I identify what resources I want to use for each section. So this is going to be signaling and media protocols. We're going to be looking at SIP and we're going to be looking at H323. My H323 cards are already completed, but if you look here at, for, for SIP, I'm going to be using this site a little bit, the tech invite. I will probably use my trace reading video series as well to create cards for this. And then also I might use some of the RFCs. If we go back to the exam topics, we see that after the signaling and media, we start getting into CME and SRST and CUBE as well. What I'll be using for those is the CME system administration guide, which in this document right now, we're looking at the system level parameters. There's going to be a lot of good stuff in here that aligns to the exam topics, such as set up Cisco unified CME for SIP phones. I guess this must be pretty important because they put it twice. Then we also are going to look at things like the dial plan, where this will align to some of the other topics, like dial peers, coded preference lists, I imagine would be there, voice translation rules and profiles, I believe might be there, but I'm going to use this document for voice translation rules and this document for voice translation profiles. And then for the dial plan, for call routing and um, looking at matching dial peers, I'll use this document. Moving on a little further to the exam topics, we get call control and dial planning. This is on the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. There's going to be translation patterns, route patterns, slip route patterns, transformation patterns, standard local route group, THO, which is tail end hop off, SIP trunking. So there's a lot of really good stuff in here which if we take a look over here on this site, we have the unified communications webpage. If we scroll down, we can see all sorts of different products here. And I'm going to focus on the call manager one because that's what aligns to the exam topics here. And then within this, we can find all of the documentation we'd need, design guides, design tech notes, data sheets, installation and upgrade guides, configuration guides, end user guides, maintain and operate guides. And then also one that I really like is the documentation roadmaps, which if we clicked on this one here, we can also see things like the compatibility matrix, upgrade and migration guides, installation guides. So a lot of the same stuff that we could probably get on the other page, but there is a treasure trove of resources out here, and some of them are amazing. Very, very, very good documentation. So while we're waiting on collaboration resources for the CCMP collaboration to be released, I highly recommend coming and checking these out. Again, I will be, I will be using these to create my deck of note cards, which I will be making available eventually. Some of the documents that I'm going to be using for the exam topics here, which we have for call routing. 
that's going to be a lot in the system configuration guide for the dial plan. It, there's also going to be a lot in the SRND, which is the solution reference network designs. That's because we have call control and call routing here. Down here, I think we're gonna have mobility. Yeah, so mobile collaboration, which I've, I've already selected some of the ones that I want to look at. And then in the, in the uh, feature configuration guide, we have things for call forwarding, so more call routing over here, call pickup, extension mobility, that's gonna be some of our mobility stuff that we have in the uh, exam that I'm talking about. Also over here in the feature and configuration guide, there is a whole section for uh, remote worker features, which I'm going to be heavy on this for the note cards. Let's move back over to the SRND. I really like using this specific documentation for creating note cards because they have great images. This one right here is for single number reach, which is also known as mobile connect. And as you can see, we have, you know, steps one, two, three, four, five, and six, which are all outlined up here. So what I could do is copy this image, which I didn't mean to click on it. Hopefully it brings us back where we were. It did. And then I can go over here. I can just paste it and the image will go in there. So then I can make this note card say, explain each step for mobile connect in the image below. Then I can go back to the documentation here and copy this out. Now I'll move back over to my note card, but this time I'm going to the back of it. Make that full screen. I'll pause the recording while I get this formatted the way that I want it to be. Now I have everything formatted and as you can see, it walks through step one and it explains it. Step two explains it. So now when I go through my card, I have an image which helps me visualize what's going on in order to better understand a concept. And then I have my back of the card, which explains each and every step. And it really wasn't that hard to create this card because I'm essentially using material that's already there available to me. And then if you are an audible learner, you can just hit the microphone up here. And you can record each step while this is running. So you can have your answer be step one, phone A in the PSDN calls a single number reach users phone number in the enterprise environment. The call comes into the enterprise PSTN gateway. Step two, the call goes to the CUCM and is extended to the IP phone with the same directory number that was called and that phone begins to ring. Step three, the call is also sent to the remote destination profile which shares the same directory number, 408-555-1234. This way, when you're going through your note cards, you're not only reading it, you're not only seeing it, you're also hearing it. What's also good is that you can add video clips if you wanted to. You can go here, click on the little paper clip, and then you can go find your video and upload it. So with that said, I plan on going through and making this deck as good as I can, where I have great images, I have great explanations, I'll try to have things formatted well, not only for the computer, but also for people that have the mobile application. And then if there's something that I can't really do in an image or in text, I will do a short video about it, like showing how to troubleshoot a certain scenario. I think this video has gone on long enough. I hope that it was informative and I hope that you get some value out of it. I'll see you in the next video and good luck in your studies.